There are many ways to use a comma in your writing, and one of them is to separate items in a series. So say you have a series of adjectives or a series of nouns, the comma can help you separate them. So I want to show you an example of using a comma in a series, and it's actually a pretty funny internet meme that you've maybe seen online before, and it illustrates how to use the comma and the importance of a comma for clarity. Here's an example. Let's say you have a sentence. It says, we invited the strippers, JFK and Stalin. So you're having a party, and very strangely, you're inviting the strippers, JFK, and Stalin. You can see in this scenario, we've separated each of the nouns, the strippers, JFK, and Stalin, with a comma. And this comma right here, the one that comes before the and, is called the Oxford comma. There's a huge amount of debate about the Oxford comma and whether or not you need it. With more, I think, uh, literary circles advocating for the Oxford comma and you know, journalists and maybe more informal writers advocating to drop the Oxford comma and letting the and do the job. But this is a good example of why you need sometimes, the Oxford comma. Otherwise, your sentence will take on a very crazy and unforeseen meaning. Without the Oxford comma, you get this sentence. We invited the strippers, comma, JFK and Stalin. Without the Oxford comma here, the meaning of the sentence becomes that we've just invited the strippers, and the strippers are JFK and Stalin. So you can see how the comma can be really helpful in clarifying the meaning of your sentence. So another way to use a comma in a series is when you have a series of adjectives. Just back then we were looking at nouns, and now we're going to take a look at adjectives. The bread had a sweet, comma, lemony scent. In this case we have two adjectives, sweet and lemony, describing the word scent, and we use a comma to separate the two of them. Now, you don't always use a comma between adjectives. The way that you can make the decision and know if you need it or not is if you replace the comma with the word and. If it makes sense, then you need the comma there. In this case, the bread had a sweet and lemony scent. That still makes sense. So we can use the and or we can replace it with a comma. But we can't have nothing there. The bread had a sweet, lemony scent without a comma and without a conjunction is incorrect. Here's an example of when we have two adjectives but we don't use a comma. Five smart students got A's. Well, in this case, we're describing the students as both smart and we're saying that there are five of them but we don't put a comma here. And you can use the test I just told you about to figure out why. Would it make sense to insert the word and between these two adjectives? Five and smart students got A's. It doesn't make sense, which is why you take out the comma. You don't need the comma in this instance. Usually when this happens, numbers are involved. So just keep that in mind. I hope this gives you some good information about how to separate a series of items in your sentence using the comma.